English conversation. Nervous about surgery? Hi, David. Hi, Jennifer. You look upset. What's wrong? It's nothing. I'm just a little nervous. Is everything all right? Will, I'm having surgery tomorrow on my finger. What's wrong with your finger? I broke it the other day playing basketball. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, it's been bothering me since that day. Are you afraid of having surgery? Yes, I've never had surgery before. I wouldn't worry. I had to have surgery on my leg last year. Everything went fine. Were you nervous before the surgery? A little. Who's your doctor? Doctor Allen. Oh, I've heard he's really good. I don't think you have anything to worry about. Good. That makes me feel much better. English conversation. Bill got fired. Hello. Hi, John. Sorry for calling so late. I hope I didn't wake you up. Actually, I was just finishing some work. I haven't gone to bed yet. Did you hear Bill get fired yesterday? No, I didn't hear that. Are you sure? Yeah. Sarah told me this afternoon. She was pretty upset about it. That's too bad. Bill's a nice guy. Yeah, I know. Why did they fire him? She didn't say. I see. Will, if you talk to Sarah again, tell her there's a job opening at my company. Bill can have an interview this week if he wants. Oh, thank you so much. I'll call her and tell her. English conversation. Jim canceled the meeting. Hey, I just talked to Jim. What did he say? He said he had to cancel the meeting this afternoon. Oh, I see. Is there a problem? No, it's not a big deal. He and they were supposed to talk to some new customers today. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. This has been happening quite a bit recently. That's strange. I wonder why. His wife has been sick, so sometimes he has to go home early to take care of her. I see. How's work been going? Things are slow right now. Would you mind if I borrow your phone? Mine's out of batteries, and I have to call my boss to tell him about this. Okay, let me go get it. It's in the car. English conversation. My mother-in-law is coming tomorrow. Hello. Hi. Are you still up? Yes. You sound tired. Is everything okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. I'm just getting ready to go to bed. It's been a really long day. Do you have time to get some coffee with me later? I have something I want to talk to you about. No, sorry, not today. I have to get up early tomorrow. Oh, what are you going to do tomorrow? My mother-in-law is coming over, so I have to get up early and clean the house. I see. Are you free tomorrow? Yes. In the afternoon, I have to finish something I'm working on, but I'll be free after 3:30. Do you want to get together after you finish work? Do you think you'll have time? Yeah, my mother-in-law will be leaving here around 2 p.m. Thank English conversation. I brought you an apple. Hey, how did you get here? I rode my bike. Are you serious? Why did you do that? I could have picked you up. That's okay. I didn't want to bother you. I know you don't like to wake up early. That's so nice of you. Aren't you cold? No, not really. I wore a coat. What's in the bag? It's a special type of apple. Oh, can I try one? It's very sweet. I put sugar on it. These apples are really good. They were only 30 cents each. Aren't those more expensive than the ones at the supermarket? Yeah, they're more expensive, but they taste better. Did you buy any other fruit 
Well, besides the apples, I bought oranges and bananas. Thank you, friends, for watching my videos. Please subscribe my YouTube channel.